Welcome to another episode here at Deep Mountain Security. Today I want to go over comparison operators in PowerShell. Now when we're going to compare stuff in PowerShell, um, you don't use standard operators like less than, greater than, less than or equal to, um, and stuff like that. Instead we generally use a parameter. Um, so one and then a parameter like dash EQ for equals two is false, but one equals one is, oops, my bad, uh, is true. Um, and so generally these are two um, uh, letter sequences. Now they can be uh, three letter sometimes if we want them to be case sensitive uh, in terms of strings. Um, in the which case, if I had this, um, equals foo, that's going to return false, this equals, um, this is going to return true, this, let's put, capitalize that as well, equal this, that's also going to be, oops, uh, true, because uh, PowerShell is generally not case sensitive. Um, however, we can change it to be so. Um, if we go CEQ for case sensitive, and then this, uh, you're gonna notice false. But if we did this uh, CEQ, this like that, then you're gonna notice it uh, results to true. So uh, there are cases in which we can put a C on the front of the two letter parameter um, to define whether or not we want our um, comparison operator to be true or false. And you can put these in parentheses um, and uh, brackets if they're in you know, a function or something like that or a script, um, in the which case uh, it's, it's really useful. And you can do order of operations on statements and incorporate them into your true and false stuff for more advanced logic. Um, uh, we've also got our greater than, less than, equal to operators and whatnot. Um, so one is LT for less than uh, two is going to be true. Uh, one is less than one, however, is false. Um, so and there's a just a lot of information on these things. Um, you know, we can do the same with greater than three is greater than two is true but three is not greater than four um, and we can even do this with like um, you know uh, bytes and stuff like that since bytes will resolve in here so one megabyte uh, is equal to 1024 uh, bytes um, It's not liking that for some reason. But anyways, uh, so one megabyte is that. Um, and if we did, uh, let's see here, 1024 megabytes is equal to one gigabyte. Uh, that is true. Um, you know, so we can do stuff like that and use other forms of logic, which is really nice. Um, one gigabyte is less than one terabyte, and that is true, um, and so on and so forth. Um, so uh, we can do some other things, and we can get some more information on it if we do get help, and then we probably want something like um, operator, I don't know, I'll see if it finds anything. So it looks like we've got logical operators here. So we could go, uh, if we wanted to get more information on this, get help about logical, if I can spell logical right, operators. And then we can kind of go through and you can see it just kind of spit out a bunch of stuff. We've got and and or and xor and not and whatnot. Um, logical not so you know we've even got um, we can do advanced logic and it's you know similar uh, parameters um, you know it's just generally a dash and then two or three letters or you know we can have the uh, exclamation point there 
Um, so that's, uh, you know, one way of doing things. Uh, we could also do this with the arithmetic operators. Um, and then you're going to see that um, um, we're going to have uh, a little bit more here. Um, so you can see, we can just scroll through and now we've got tons of stuff here. You know, if you really want to get into it, then uh, get help is just a fantastic thing to help you figure out what you want to know. Um, I mean, you've obviously got our, uh, our regular uh, mathematical and arithmetic operators. Um, however, I believe this should also contain um, the parameters that we were using. Let's see if we can uh, find those in here, maybe. Uh, looks like we've even got bitwise arithmetic operators. So if you wanted to do stuff with um, uh, bitwise operators, then you could do that in here as well. Um, uh, there we go. About comparison operators is probably what we want, uh, since that's most of what my video is on today. So we can go get help, uh, and then about comparison operators. And you're going to notice that this works fairly similar once again. We've got all our bitwise stuff. Um, let's see if we can scroll up until we get something. Here we go. So you're going to see that we've got all these different things. This is going to be equals, not equals, greater than, uh, greater than, equal to, less than, less than, equal to. Um, like and contains are very similar but very different. Um, not like, match, not match, not contains, in, not in, and replace. Um, so you're going to notice that by, all, by default, they're all case insensitive. And like I mentioned, if you append a C onto the front, then we can make them case sensitive for what we want. And I love how PowerShell works and the fact that it's not case sensitive uh, most of the time because that's just really nice. Um, but anyways, so... Um, Let's go over the like and the contains uh, because this is interesting. Um, and this is going to be more when you're comparing strings. So let's create a couple of strings. Uh, let's go uh, n is equal to number and um, z is equal to numbers. Um, now let's see what happens if I go n uh, contains um, z uh, and it shouldn't and it's false. Now if we go n contains or z contains n you're gonna notice that's also false and you might be wondering wait a second uh, numbers does contain number but that is not the way PowerShell works what you should be using in this case is a like if z like n, um, or is it n like z? Uh, da, 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 nope, actually, never mind, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> um, uh, but there's a way to do that. And um, anyways, oh boy. Um, anyhow, um, so there are ways uh, to um, do that that make life a little bit easier. Um, and this is going to be more helpful when you've got longer strings. Let's say instead of, um, so let's take a look at what I had there. Um, let's go ahead and get our type and it looks like it was a string. Um, but now if I maybe, um, so let's, let's create an array uh, that contains um, nothing um, something, hello, plus, I don't know, um, and it might want, um, commas in here because it is an array. Um, there we go. So now if we look at A, here's everything that in it. Um, so if I made another variable and called it S and then set it equal, oops, set it equal to, um, something, now we can go uh, a dash contains s, I mean s, 
<laughs> and you're gonna notice it's true because s isn't when, when is it, it doesn't work on a string like you think it would it works on array objects um, so if I'm looking specifically for um, something to show up in an array um, then what you want to use is contains like on the other hand is it going to return the same thing if we go a uh, dash like s you're going to notice that it will instead actually return what it found um, and so you know this isn't returning a boolean value here this is returning the actual value uh, that we're kind of looking for uh, and so you know these kind of operators can be really useful uh, I mean I mean obviously like and contains these are going to be useful for more, when, more when working with either uh, arrays or string based objects and stuff like that depending on what you're trying to do um, however um, a lot of these operators you know greater than less than less than equal to um, stuff like that are also things that are really helpful to use um, you know so if we went uh, like for example um, let's try um, 5 is less than or equal to 5 it's gonna evaluate to true um, now you're gonna notice if I went a um, is less than or equal to B you're gonna notice that also evaluates to true because I don't know how many of you are familiar with C++ maybe or another very um, uh, low-level language uh, but the way that they work with characters is they generally store them as a, um, a series of numbers you know that might be Unicode or something else depending on the language however it wants to store it um, but that allows you to run comparison on uh, characters in general so if I went a uh, dot get type because you can run this on anything you're gonna notice it's a string and so that means that we can run this on something else like a a a um, is less than or equal to a a b and that's gonna evaluate the true um, however if we want a a a let's go a a b is greater than um, a a a you're gonna notice that's also true because it is. Um, so you know you can just there's PowerShell is just so easy to use, and comparison operators make life so much easier when you're trying to compare things. <laughs> Anyways, uh, great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.